I believe that just like coffee, you can never have too much storage. Hey, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. And if you're new here, do hit that subscribe and bell icons. Here's what I currently have in my rig. So I run a combination of NVMe M.2 SSDs, SATA SSDs, and regular hard disk drives. I'm looking to migrate to a full SSD-based setup though. Externally, I have a 2-bay Synology NAS and WD MyBook Duo for backup purposes. This excludes a stack of external SSDs and HDDs I use for quick backups, video projects, and on-the-go purposes. If you're looking to upgrade your in-rig storage though, it's a great time to do it because prices have plummeted and are still plummeting. RAM 2 for that matter. And gone are the days when SSD storage was a luxury and meant for more expensive builds. These days, SSDs offer incredible value while delivering at least 3-5 to five times the performance of regular hard disk drives. And in all honesty, unless you want sheer capacity, there's no reason not to use an SSD drive. Even better if it was an NVMe M.2 SSD. So this is the WD Blue SN550 1TB NVMe M.2 SSD. It's fast and affordable, but hey, I'm jumping the gun here. Let's look at the key specs and features. So the SN550 is based on the M.2 2080 form factor with a PCIe 3.0 4-lane or latest NVMe 1.4 interface. It features a SanDisk 4-channel controller and is a DRAMless drive with HMD support. Without DRAM, it instead uses a small SLC cache on its single-sided PCB. It uses Big Flash's 96-layer 3D NAND TLC flash memory and is good for an impressive 600 TBW rating, short for terabytes with a measure of flash storage endurance. As an example, if you were to write 50 gigabytes of new data per day for 365 days, that would equate to 18.25 terabytes per year, which means it will take 32.8 years to hit the 600 TBW limit. WD graciously extends a 5-year warranty to the SN550. To take the SN550 through its paces, I ran a couple of synthetic benchmarks and several real-world tests that covered transfer rates and gaming. And here are the results. Note that the Aura's motherboard comes with M.2 heat sinks, which helps keep things cool. There was no noticeable thermal throttling, although sustained read and write speeds do drop below peak numbers. My favorite benchmark, this bench, is always an excellent test bed to ascertain real-world performance of drives. In the copy directory test, I use a 65.9GB folder that includes 2,502 files and 110 folders. The SN550 took 77,821 milliseconds with an average transfer rate of over 860 megabytes per second. In the create file test, the SN550 completed the task in 108 milliseconds at an average speed of 444.444 megabytes per second for both files. Later, I also ran the create file batch test, which returned these results. Without resorting to manually timing game loading times, I used two gaming benchmarks from Final Fantasy XIV, 
which not only benchmarks CPU and GPU gaming performance, but also game loading times. Here are the results. So does the lack of DRAM affect the I.O. performance of the drive? Of course it does to an extent. A good example would be the Disbench copy directory test where it would hit maximum speeds until it depletes its cache. Speeds then average out to the 700 to 800 megabytes per second range, which honestly isn't shabby for a DRAMless drive. That's still quicker than any SATA or hard disk drives by any account. Overall, the SM550 performed commendably well in synthetic benchmarks as well as real-world applications. And to summarize, here are the pros. Excellent performance for the price, meets and exceeds manufacturer claims, good thermal performance overall, 600 TBW and a 5-year warranty, and it's affordable and great value. The only con, and I believe that it's nitpicking, is its plain Jane aesthetics. Thanks to its affordable pricing and its punchy performance, the SN550 gets a big thumbs up from me. If you're on a budget but you're looking to expand your storage without sacrificing performance, give this drive a shot. I know I'm going to be adding a couple of these to my rig. And that's a wrap guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Do let me know what you think about the SN550 as well as this video. Leave your comments below. And if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and that bell icon. Until the next video, take care, stay safe and peace.